the decomposition of ammonia gas and platinum surface is zero order reaction. The question says what are the rates of production of nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas? When ammonia gas decomposes, it produces nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. Let us write down the reaction ammonia gas and it produces nitrogen gas as well as hydrogen gas. We balance this equation on right side there are two nitrogen atoms and on left side there is only one nitrogen atom that is why I put here two nitrogen atoms are balanced. On left side there are six hydrogen atoms and on right side there are only two hydrogen atoms that is why I put here three. Now, hydrogen atoms are balanced. This is a balance equation. The question says what are the rates of production of nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas? Let us apply uh, the average rate of reaction in this equation. We write down the average rate of reaction. We know that the average rate of reaction is the change in the concentration of reactants and products per unit time. We write here rate is equal to D and H3 bracket G and so D represents change and NH3 represents the concentration of reactants and both D and H3 represents the change in the concentration of reactant ammonia divided by per unit time dt. Similarly, we write down the rate of reaction uh, for products nitrogen gas D and H2 divided by dt. D for hydrogen gas part divided by dt. Well, we know that when a reaction takes place, the concentration of reactant decreases. We mentioned here the decrease in the concentration of reactant is represented by symbol minus, and at the same time, the concentration of products increases. An increase in the concentration of products is represented by symbol plus. I mentioned here plus. Well, to relate the rate of reactants and products, we divide the rate of reactants and products by their respective coefficient. For example, in the reaction ammonia has two coefficients. I divide the rate of uh, uh, reaction of reactants by 2. Similarly, for nitrogen part, nitrogen gas part, it, is ha it has only one coefficient, it remains invisible, invisible. and for hydrogen gas part, it has a three coefficients that is why I divide the rate of reaction of hydrogen gas by three. Now, you can equalize this is how the rate of reactants and products are related. Well, the question is the question says the decomposition of ammonia is zero order reaction. In a zero order of reaction, the rate of reaction does not depend on the concentration of reactant. It means the rate of reaction is equal to rate constant. The rate is equal to k is equal to 2.5 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4. That is why this rate of reaction will be equal to 2.5 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 and unit is liters per mole second. Now, we can find out the rates of production of nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. Let us find out the rate of production of nitrogen gas at first. The rate of reaction of nitrogen gas is this one and it is equal to this value. Here we write plus D and H D and 2 gas divided by dt is equal to 2.5 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 and unit is liters per mole and second. This is the rate of production of nitrogen gas in the reaction. Similarly, we find out the rate of production of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas, and this is the rate of product, uh, rate of reaction of hydrogen gas, and it is equal to this value plus one upon three divided uh, d h two uh, bracket divided by d t equal to it is equal to two point five two point five multiplied by ten to power minus four. Now, we can transfer 3 on right side here you will have plus dh2 bracket divided by dt and see if you transfer 3 you can multiply 
5 multiplied by reach 5 10 to power minus 4. You can multiply 2.5 by 3, you will get 7.5 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 and unit is liters per mole per second, per mole second. This is the rate of production of hydrogen gas in the reaction.